NASA scientists are one step closer to unlocking the secrets of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope completed its final deployment sequence just yesterday. For the first time in the history of astronomy, humanity has set its sights on a truly unprecedented image, one that has sparked awe in the scientific community and ignited the public's imagination. The James Webb Space Telescope, the crown jewel of modern space exploration, has just delivered the clearest and most detailed image ever captured of Proxima b, an exoplanet orbiting the star closest to our Sun, Proxima Centauri. This breakthrough is not only an engineering and optical feat, but marks a transformative moment in the search for life beyond Earth and deepens our understanding of the cosmos in ways that were once considered unattainable. Before continuing, like and subscribe for more exclusive news. When the image was released, Proxima b did not appear as a simple dot on a data graph or as a blurry smudge of infrared light, but as a world, tangible, textured, defined. Webb's advanced near-infrared camera, NIARCAM, and its mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, joined forces to pierce through the cosmic dust and electromagnetic interference that had long obscured exoplanet observations. What emerged was a sharp, high-resolution image showing Proxima b in stunning clarity. Surface albedo differences, atmospheric layers, and even polar caps could be inferred from the spectroscopic and visual data. Although still a far cry from the planetary portraits we have of Earth or Mars, this image brings us dramatically closer to seeing alien worlds not as ideas, but as places. The importance of this image lies in what it represents, a moment of astronomical maturity in which theory collides with direct observation. For decades, exoplanets like Proxima b were known mainly through indirect means, they were detected by the characteristic wobble of their host stars or by the slight dimming that occurred when they transited in front of them. While these methods allowed scientists to infer the presence, mass, and orbital dynamics of exoplanets, they left huge gaps in our understanding of their composition, climate, or surface conditions. The Webb Telescope, with its revolutionary ability to isolate planetary light from the blinding glare of nearby stars, has changed the paradigm. It is no longer just about finding planets, but about characterizing them. Proxima b orbits within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star located just 4.24 light years away. This zone is the region neither too hot nor too cold, where liquid water could theoretically exist on the surface of a planet. The planet itself is approximately 1.3 times the mass of Earth placing it firmly in the terrestrial category. Unlike the gas giants and icy worlds that dominate many exoplanet discoveries, these characteristics have long made it a tempting target. But the challenge has always been visibility. Its proximity to its dim but highly active star meant that previous instruments could not isolate enough detail to say anything definitive about its atmosphere or surface. Webb's image changes that. The telescope's advanced coronagraphs and photometric filters allowed scientists to suppress the starlight from Proxima Centauri with unprecedented precision, allowing them to focus solely on the faint reflected light from the planet. What they found were atmospheric absorption lines suggesting the presence of key compounds, carbon dioxide, possibly water vapor, and tantalizing hints of methane. While none of this confirms the presence of life, the chemical signatures are consistent with environments that are at least not hostile to life as we understand it. Temperature readings were also obtained from thermal emission data, indicating moderate surface temperatures that fall within the limits of Earth-like conditions. Beyond the immediate implications for astrobiology, this image of Proxima b offers a glimpse of what Earth-like exoplanets might actually look like. The terrain appears varied, with regions of higher reflectivity possibly indicating ice or desert areas. There are darker areas that may correspond to oceans or heavily clouded areas. Even the faint reddish hue of the planet, probably influenced by the light from its red dwarf star, gives it an air of alien familiarity. Different, but curiously understandable. For planetary scientists and artists alike, 
This visual context provides a new basis for imagining what other rocky exoplanets might be like. The excitement generated by this image comes not only from what it shows, but from what it proves is now possible. Capturing an image of an exoplanet with such clarity is a milestone in observational astronomy. It demonstrates that, with the right instruments and techniques, even planets orbiting distant stars can be resolved and studied in unprecedented detail. This opens up a wide field of research opportunities, from climate modeling of exoplanets to the study of planetary evolution in other star systems. It also means that the search for extraterrestrial life has become significantly more tangible. Instead of speculating based on indirect indicators, scientists can now begin to analyze actual planetary conditions. It is also a moment of profound philosophical impact. For centuries, the question of whether we are alone in the universe has haunted our species. Although we have discovered that microbial life is surprisingly tenacious on Earth, thriving in acid lakes, frozen tundras, and boiling vents, translating that resilience to other worlds remained speculative. With this image, the bridge between speculation and observation is shortened. If planets like Proxima b are so similar to Earth in appearance and composition, it suggests that the ingredients for life may not be as rare or unique as previously feared. Furthermore, the fact that such detail has been obtained from a planet orbiting a red dwarf star is a powerful testament to Webb's capabilities. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in our galaxy, accounting for approximately 70% of all stars. If the planets orbiting them can be observed in this level of detail, the number of potentially habitable and observable worlds increases exponentially. Webb's success with Proxima b sets a model for studying other promising candidates, such as those in the TRAPPIST-1 system or LHS 1140b, further expanding our cosmic horizons. One of the most fascinating aspects of this achievement is the interdisciplinary collaboration it represents. Astrophysicists, engineers, chemists, planetary scientists, and computational scientists all played a role in designing the imaging algorithms, calibrating the instruments, and interpreting the data. The web image is as much a triumph of data science as it is of optics. Advanced machine learning algorithms were used to reconstruct the faint planetary light from noisy data, ensuring that the final image was both accurate and rich in information. This integration of human ingenuity across different disciplines demonstrates that space exploration is no longer the domain of isolated fields. It is a symphony of knowledge working in concert. The release of the image also rekindles public interest in space science. Visual evidence carries emotional weight. Seeing a distant world with our own eyes, even if through the lens of an orbiting telescope, makes the universe feel a little more reachable. The image of Proxima b, with its Earth-like silhouette and mysterious surface features, does not reside solely in scientific journals. It is now part of our collective imagination. Schools, planetariums, museums, and online platforms are already using it to inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. From a technical perspective, the precision of this observation reflects decades of advances. Webb's mirror alignment, thermal stability, and adaptive optics all had to work perfectly to deliver this result. The telescope had to compensate not only for the vast distance to Proxima Centauri, but also for Proxima b's rapid orbital motion around its star. This required predictive tracking and real-time calibration algorithms to prevent the image from blurring. The data acquisition took several weeks, with multiple orbits observed to confirm consistency and minimize the effects of stellar flare activity, a common problem with red dwarf stars. These achievements, while amazing, are only the beginning. Scientists are now using the data to build three-dimensional models of Proxima b's climate and surface structure. These models will help estimate the planet's rotational dynamics, atmospheric circulation patterns, and the potential for generating a magnetic field, all critical factors in assessing its long-term habitability. If the planet has a magnetic field, 
it would offer protection against the frequent stellar flares emitted by Proxima Centauri, further increasing its chances of harboring life. The implications for future missions are profound. With the success of Webb's image of Proxima b, discussions about launching dedicated interstellar probes have intensified. Projects such as Breakthrough Starshot, which seeks to send gram-sized spacecraft to nearby star systems using laser propulsion, now have clearer targets and more precise mission parameters. Knowing what Proxima b looks like, what it is made of, and how its atmosphere behaves will guide the design of instruments and trajectories for these missions. The vision of sending robotic explorers to neighboring star systems is no longer science fiction. It is a strategic goal based on real data. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also, tell us in the comments, what do you think of the image of Proxima b taken by the James Webb? Do you see any major implications? We want to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.